we are heading off to a place I've been past many times before but never stopped the Bowder Stone so we just parked the National Trust car park uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning there's only us here so Mrs Metal Man's looking a bit cold so we'll be putting a bit of a sprint on I think so from the car park it's a little sign there 600 yards so we're just following this path takes down a few steps they've done about half a mile away from the hotel so if you're stopping at the Burrowdale Hotel, you want a little walk out somewhere, this should be an ideal one. So we're leaving the roadside path there now. Just follow that up here. And through the gate. And how nice to see a bit of sun. It was a very, very stormy night last night. And we got here about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Checked in the hotel. And it was typical Lakeland weather. Torrential rain blown an absolute hoolie outside where the rain was coming in sheets so it's nice to get out after a nice full English breakfast and do a nice little walk and then we'll mostly head into Keswick afterwards Shall I come up? You want, yeah. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not coming up. Non slip steps all the way to the top. Oh, that sun's coming out there now. But like I say, up here, the rock is obviously very smooth, quite slippy. So on a wet day, if you have got kids. size so 30 feet tall 1200 tons in weight how on earth anybody measured that I don't know but apparently that's what it is and a lot of people ask the question how did it get there apparently three possibilities I think one and the most obvious had it rolled down from up there somewhere this could have been pushed down by a glacier back in the ice age i think the one thing against that theory is the the very sharp point at the bottom if that was being pushed you would expect a great big gouge of earth all the way around here from wherever it's come from and there's nothing like that here so that's the two main theories i think the best one i heard i'm not quite sure i I think it was Eric Warnsley's video of this, I'm sure it was, where there's two giants fighting, throwing enormous stones at each other, because all the way around the Lake District, you have got these large stones, nothing as big as that, but I think if you were the giant that threw that, I'll give you two guesses as to who the winner would have been, and out of the three possibilities how the Bowder Stone got there, that's the one I prefer the most. One enterprising uh, guy in the 1800s uh, bought a bit of land all the way around the Bowder Stone and he sectioned that off. So when any visitors were coming to the Lake District, he charged them one penny to get in and climb to the top. And one penny in them days was quite a bit, so he made himself a bit of money. So now owned by the National Trust, so completely free of charge yeah let's have a bit of walk a bit further so I don't know how long this has gone this has been here uh, I'm gonna to have to look it up actually I wasn't expecting to see this here uh, some sort of some sort of Celtic sacrificial spot. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> I'm going to have to sacrifice Mrs. Metal Man. The <laughs> so from here, the path just continue on down there. 
So we just moved down about two miles down to a little village of Rothwaite. Oh, we just got to do a nice gentle little flat walk to walk off that full English breakfast we've had. <laughs> Nice flat walk Mrs. Metal Man's enjoying and for the more adventurous I'm sure it's we went over that way and around in the summer where I did uh, Castle Crag where I did a friends I think it was the second time round the way right I think had a very misty day there no misty day not forecast to rain haven't said that in the Lake District <laughs> that means absolutely nothing or slate mines and you can see the work that's been done over the years in there very wet and damp very cold still fascinating sight to see <laughs> Mrs Metalman's itching to get the Keswick so I think we'll head back there now Nice moody skies up there. Absolutely gorgeous. The scenery as well as Mrs. Metal Man. So if you have watched the video all the way through, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. If you enjoyed it, click on the like button. And why not consider subscribing? See you soon, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.